Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a numerical which is based on the concept of Hagen postulate. So let's move on to video. Let's see the numerical. Crude oil of viscosity 1.5 poise and relative density 0 0.9 flows through 20 mm diameter vertical pipe. So in this numerical, the position of pipe is vertical. It means that datum is continuously changing with respect to height. The pressure gauges fixed 20 meter apart read 60 kN per meter square lower side and 200 kN per meter square on upper side. So at the distance of this 20 meter, this distance is nothing but the vertical height of a pipe. So there are two gauges. Gauges are nothing but the pressure measuring devices. So these pressure measuring devices are giving us readings as 600 at lower. At lower, we have higher value of pressure that is 600 kilonewton per meter square. And at lower level, there is value as a 200 kilonewton per meter square. So find the direction of flow. The first problem is whether flow is moving from downward to upward or upward to downward. So this is the decision that is asked to us. And second is the rate of flow through the pipe. Means whatever is the flow, so what is the rate of that flow? That is the asked in the problem. So first let down, note down the basic given data as mu is 1.5 poise so i can say it is 0 0.15 newton second per meter square because relation is that 1 newton second per meter square it is equal to 10 poise this is the relation s that is specific gravity is given to us as 0 0.9 dia d is given to us this dia is 20 mm so 20 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Pressure 1, P1, we will denote pressure 1, P1, which is on bottom side, on lower side, as 600 kilonewton per meter square, and P2 on upper side as 200 kilonewton per meter square. And length between these two pressure gauges is 20 meter. We can calculate rho of oil as this specific gravity 0 0.9 into 1000 for water in 900 kg per meter cube. So let's consider the diagram of pipe. Say so this is a pipe, vertical pipe. Here it is a pressure measuring device having the reading of pressure as 600 and another pressure measuring device reading is 200. So there are two different levels hence we have to consider the energy equation. So total energy is P1 upon gamma plus V1 square upon 2G plus Z1. So 600 into 10 raised to 3 this is the pressure this is kilonewton per meter square that is equal to 600 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square upon gamma is nothing but the this 900 into 9.81 rho into g plus v1 square upon 2g plus we will denote this as a datum level. So value of Z that is distance of point from the datum level in our case it will become 0. So Z1 value will become 0. So it becomes 67.95 plus V1 square upon 2G. Similarly total energy at 2 total energy at 2 is P1 
टू अपॉन गैमा प्लस वी टू स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी प्लस जेड टू सो पी टू इज दिस विल बिकम पी टू इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री अपॉन गैमा वैल्यू इज नाइन हंड्रेड इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन प्लस वी टू स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी प्लस नाउ दिस वैल्यू ऑफ जेड टू दिस इज नथिंग बट द जेड टू वैल्यू इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी मीटर बिकॉज दिस इज द डाटम लेवल सो फ्रॉम डाटम लेवल द सेकेंड गेज इज लोकेटेड एट ट्वेंटी मीटर हाइट सो जेड टू इज ट्वेंटी सो पुटिंग वैल्यू एज ट्वेंटी वी विल हैव equation as 42.65 plus v2 square upon 2g as it is clear that total energy at 1 is greater than total energy at 2 so the direction of flow is from 1 to since here value is 67.95 plus v1 square upon 2g constant dia constant dia corresponds to constant kinetic energy so v1 square upon 2g will be equal to v2 square upon 2g so here the comparison of energy will be between these values this 67.95 and 42.65 out of which energy is more at one point and less at second point it means that there exist the loss of energy from one point to another point it means that flow is actually having the direction in figure as shown in figure so this is the direction that is flow from 1 to 2 now we will calculate head loss hf by hagen poisson equation so by hagen poisson's equation head loss can be calculated as 32 mu into u bar into l upon Rho g d square, so thirty two into mu is zero point one five. This is zero point one five mu, is zero point one five into u bar into length is twenty meter. Upon rho is nine hundred g is nine point eight one into dia is zero point zero two square. so that is equal to 27.183 into u bar so we have a relation stating hf and u bar so it is necessary that we have to use another concept so we will consider head losses head loss in vertical pipe is nothing but the energy 1 minus energy 2 that is equal to hf we have already found that energy 1 value is larger value energy 2 value is lesser value so energy 1 value is here 67.95 plus v1 square upon 2g basically when we subtract energy 1 minus energy 2 the common term is v1 square upon 2g which will get cancelled so we are going to consider only the value 67.95 and 42.65 so 67.95 minus 42.65 that is equal to 25.3 this hf when obtained can be put into the equation as shown in figure so u bar 
can be calculated as 25.3 divided by this value is 27.183 so that is equal to 0 0.937 meter per second now next task is to calculate the rate of flow rate of flow that is q is equal to average velocity q equal to av so average velocity multiply by area of pipe so q will be equal to u bar into pi by 4 into d square so u bar is 0 0.937 into this pi by 4 into dia is 0 0.02 square after calculation we will have value of q as 2.924 into 10 raise to minus 4 meter cube per second if we want to convert it in our regular units that is liter per second we will use the relation relation is that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter so multiplying by 1000 we will have value of discharge as value of q is 2.924 into 10 to minus 4 into 1000 that is equal to this becomes 10 to minus 1 so 0 0.2924 liter per second and we know that this value is discharge is is in upward direction that's all thank you